guys for joining me in today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Santos. If you guys are returning subscribers, what's good fam? Thank you guys for the continued support and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video guys, it is all about the eyes, okay? <laughs> so, let me start off with y'all. I had no outfits to complement this eye makeup, so I went with the tried and true all black everything and when I tell you I haven't worn this outfit since my Mac days I haven't so I thought it would be really cool to show you guys uh, my certification chain if you guys have never seen a Mac certification chain I'm about to show you guys what an actual old-school original certification chain looks like so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like um, so here is what the piece looks like y'all It is such a gem I've had this piece for about nine years and every time I wear it, it's just, I always get so many compliments. Even the MAC logo is still intact. Like, there's nothing um, tarnished. There's no fading on this black metal. Like, such an amazing piece. I'm not going to get too in-depth about what this is. But I did want to show you guys and open up to you guys. If you didn't know, I literally, one of my best artistry times was with mac i was with the brand for such a long time and i just miss those days so much um but that led me to be here with you guys and i'm so grateful for that opportunity it has since moved on i am no longer a mac boy i am definitely more a p louise kind of boy okay so let's get into what inspired this look honestly this little product inspired this whole look and I just it literally went from there so I was truly inspired by this Suva Beauty like dual eyeliner um, I had this product in my collection for a long time I want to say a year and it's just been sitting there and I literally was pretty much shopping my stash and I was like you know what it's time so I pulled this one out and then as I'm looking for something else to use I find this palette which has been in my collection for about two months and yet I have not played with it. Let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the featured eyeshadow palette in today's video which is going to be the Blend Bunny Blends palette y'all. So I have been wanting to use this palette for a very long time. I just y'all, there's just not enough time in the month for me to be putting out these looks and trying on all these eyeshadows but here we are right so let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the color story tell me tell me that this is not stunning and that this is not a Santos palette like obsessed when I tell you that this palette performed beautifully just like the premium palette it is amazing you guys will see the execution of this palette during the tutorial portion of the video and I'll let you guys come to a conclusion I'm just gonna tell you that is amazing and so underrated they are so underrated and the last thing that I found in my collection was this glitter palette I did pick this up when I went to go visit Tatanisha so shout outs to my girl um, I did wind up using the, the sh this shade, it looks white in the palette, but it reflects really beautiful. It's like green, orange, and purple when, depending on how the light hits it, stunning, stunning. This palette is from Nobla Cosmetics. I don't know if they still sell this one, but this one is called the Miami Lights. It's so awesome. I want to say thank you to you guys that tagged me in the Stacey Marie uh, PR Hunt. You guys truly went off. I mean, so many of you guys tagged me. I was literally lost for words because it really, it was an eye-opening moment for me, okay? I was like, you know, for as a content creator, sometimes when your numbers don't grow, you feel that, you know, your work is just not good enough or, you know, that you're not worthy of being on social media. That, that thought out of my head when I saw all the numbers, like, and the engagement. Like, I'm just, I'm grateful for you guys. I'm not going to ramble too, too much on it. If you guys aren't following me on IG, definitely go ahead and follow me on IG. I do keep you guys posted on the channel two to three times a week. And we have a lot of fun on my Instagram, trust me. So definitely go give me a follow. My um, socials are always in the description bar down below. So... I think that's all I have to say in today's video. If you guys are enjoying my content, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the Ignitions family if you guys aren't already. Don't forget to spread the word on your new favorite influencer. And without further ado, guys, enjoy the tutorial. 
What's good everyone? You guys already know, jumping right into voiceover. So here's a close-up look of today's look, but before we get into it, let's go ahead and prime. So up versus the P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor number two. I am going to just put this all over my eyelid and blend it out with a Kabuki style brush. So once nice and blended, we're going to be jumping into one of the new palettes in my collection, which is the beautiful Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends Palette. And y'all, let's take a moment for this color story. Okay, you guys know I am team color over here here stop playing all right guys so let's get into the colors that we're going to be using in our crease so i'm going to jump into the color signs promise and bewitched so when applying these shadows if you guys are new here you want to make sure that you go ahead and pack this on to you see the color that's in the palette you don't want to see any gaps or anything like that you just want everything to be a solid color and then we're going to go into the color promise now promise is going to help um, marry the two colors and start creating a soft blend now this is not my end result of course if you guys like it very soft then just keep it like this make i always tell you guys to make it your own but of course i'm gonna go in with a second layer because i like my colors to be super bold and vivid so um after i go ahead and i'm i'm happy with my initial blend i am gonna go ahead and go back into the color signs and then i am gonna go into the color um, promise to create again that beautiful cloudy look that I am obsessed with so once the two colors are beautifully blended together we're going to add another color so we're gonna jump into the color bewitched bewitched is like a black and plum shade and this is what's gonna give the definition to that cut crease and really have you standing out y'all okay so this is really an important step when you are doing this because you want the depth and you want those colors to really have that um, deepness that light and dark contrast Alrighty, so here is where we should be at. So now we're going to jump into our Garnier Fruities Micelle Cleansing Water, and I am going to clean off my eyelid and shape the eyeshadow. So do take your time when you are doing this. And then, of course, once we are nice and shaped, I am going to go ahead and use the rolling technique so that way I can get the most crispest uh, cut crease out there. Okay, stop playing with me. <laughs> Alright, guys, so once you're satisfied, this is where you should be at with your cut crease. Nice and clean, and we are here for it. All right, guys, so let's jump into our bases. So I am going to go ahead and use a uh, blank canvas with uh, the P. Louise eyeshadow base. Shout outs to my girl, Tatanisha. She's the one that put me onto this, and it really does help with um, playtime because this the blank canvas dries down so quick, and when you're doing a look like this, it's so intricate, and it takes time. So shout outs to my girl for giving us that tip. We really appreciate it. It really does help, and if you guys are new here, work in sections. Less is more with this product because it can get very gunky really quickly okay check out that cut crease stop playing i love blank canvas like the p louise products are lit you guys don't have them you're sleeping on it you're missing out all right guys so jumping right back into the palette we're gonna go into the color signs and i am gonna make almost like a full uh wing eyeliner and then y'all this is the moment i've been waiting for for so long i am gonna use uh jump into my suva beauty hydro fix liner the this palette is called doodle D and is a water water activated eyeliner kit so I am gonna go into the hot pink and y'all the hot pink was stunning okay like literally such a beautiful moment so I am gonna go and just almost well connect the actual eyeliner to the inner part of the crease um, just for a fun playtime moment and then once we are done I am gonna go in back into the palette and use the orange now this is where I was having my struggles because you know what I sh less is more y'all less is more all right but of course we're extra AF on this channel so we wanted to do the most so I went into the orange y'all and this is where I was having my troubles all right so I wanted each eyeliner to have its own moment um, but unfortunately uh, because it was super close to each other they were blending into each other and and that's where my struggles were because again I wanted them to just have its own moment especially if I'm working so hard to apply these eyeliners um, but yeah guys so if you are gonna attempt to redo this I would bring the colors just a little bit higher uh, than each other uh, so that way each color has its moment I wind up making it work at the end but I was here correcting and going over these two colors like I went over these colors a lot so that way they can be as vivid as they are in the pan but and that was that was a mission on its own y'all and you know what you live and you learn um, I've learned that you know if I put the liners right on top of each other, they're going to blend into each other. So 
it is what it is hey boo so tatanisha shout outs to our girl um she was actually on live when i was doing my makeup and of course that's our girl so i had to um go show some love <laughs> so hey boo if you are watching all right guys so let's jump right back into the palette so we are going to use the color barley it is a beautiful matte orange and of course i'm going to go ahead and add some color to the waterline so i am going to use the la girl uh pastel liner in uh lilac they don't sell these anymore this was just this was a limited edition but y'all um any lilac color will do um and then i'm gonna jump right into my favorite mascara which is the one size fantasize mascara this will give you the blackest longest lashes ever stop playing if you guys haven't tried this you are missing out all right guys so let's move on to complexion so jumping into primer up first is going to be the one size makeup magnet primer so i use this very sparingly because it can dry out my skin so i only use this on target areas like um my cheeks which uh, is to uh, minimize the size of pores and of course to mattify that area and then to counteract that dryness i am going to use the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating primer so if you guys want a smooth base that is not drying, this cocktail is lit. But to add an additional layer of moisture, I am going to go into my e.l.f. restorative uh, facial oil mist just to add a little bit more hydration and make sure that my skin throughout the day will not get dry or textury. So I am going to go ahead and just fan this off so that way it really sets into the skin. And once that is all nice and dry, we're ready for makeup. So up first, we're going to use my favorite at the moment. This is going to be the Fenty Beauty Color Corrector in uh, the color Peach. Uh, so this one is more of a stiffer formula. So I do like to blend this out with my fingers. Uh, the warmth of the fingers help the actual product move on the skin as well as blend. Alrighty, so once you're nice and blended, we're going to go into foundation. So I am going to be using my favorite at the moment. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. If you know, you know, this product has just been amazing. Oh, I, I, I love it. I have nothing bad to say about this product. If you haven't tried it, definitely go pick up a sample from your local Sephora because this one is a game changer. All right, guys, so moving on to concealer, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty. I think this is called like Filter Something full filter concealer i'll leave the right name in the description bar <laughs> you guys already know so i am going to take a dis, um, a detailed brush and i'm just going to go ahead really close to clean up that eyeshadow and then um i'm just going to move it where i need to move it and then i'm going to blend it out with a sponge so that way i don't make any mistake all right so once we're nice and blended here is where we should be at so let's go ahead and set those under eyes so i'm going to jump right into my collab set the stage loose powder and i'm going to uh press that in with a beauty blender puff and look at that under eye guys smooth airbrush flawless and of course guys i couldn't help but jump right back into my ColourPop uh pretty fresh pressed powder this is like holy grail status and for the price point it's less than 15 dollars and it's giving very much one size powder foundation dupe okay get into it and stop playing this is a highly recommended powder from your favorite homeboy all right guys now that we are all set we have no luster in the skin so it's time to add that glow so i'm gonna go ahead and use my cream color base from mac cosmetics in the color hush this is gonna give us that skin like glow stop playing i love this product so much and this product is so underrated and sleeped on but i'm telling you guys if you like a skin highlight a skin like highlight this is it i'm just saying all right guys to add some dimension we are going to go into the made by mitchell blush bronzer and caramel chisel and this is going to add that dimension to the skin i love this product i love 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 this product i have three on backup in my collection at all times stop playing all right guys and now to jump into blush we are going to jump into the one size cheek clapper brush blush in very that and i'm going to start off with the cream in the palette which is going to give us a nice base for for our powder blushes which i am going to use both of the ones in the palette i'm just going to mix them to get a, a nice hyper sheen effect it was giving it was giving what it needed to give stop playing okay all right guys so let's jump right back into the uh, blend bunny cosmetics palette we're going to go ahead and jump into the color signs again and for the bottom lash line i think i kept it pretty easy as far as this part so i just used the color signs and then i just blended it and then i'm going to jump into both of the yellows in the palette one was called 
a wild flower and serendipity and i just mix the two yellows together and then to add that pop of pink i'm gonna go into the color cheese which is such a gorgeous hot pink shade i was so here for it it really made the the, the look a little grungy which i was living for and then of course i'm gonna go ahead and add some texture to the look so i'm gonna take whatever adhesive um glitter adhesive you have i'm just gonna use a liquid one and then i'm gonna go into the nobla miami light glitter palette and then i'm just taking that white shade which is truly like a gold and reflects like orange blue and i think it was like orange blue and green i was so here for this y'all look at how beautiful I mean, can we just have a moment for that glitter, period? And of course, this wouldn't be a completed look without any lashes. So I'm going to jump into my favorite, the Popsy Lashes in the Style Boss. I do have a discount code with them. I will link it in the description bar down below if you guys are looking to save some coin off your next purchase. All right, guys, moving on to lips. I am going to use my favorite lip pencil. This is the Natasha Denona Lip Pencil in the color Naya. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know this is my jam. It's just a little darker than my lip um, line. It is perfect perfect for any nude and then of course the nude that i'm using is the juvia's place um nubian sand lipstick y'all this is my new favorite nude it is bomb and i feel like anybody can wear this just to, it's just contingent on the liner the lip liner that you use and of course guys i had to pull out the holy grail the fenty beauty lip balm in fussy y'all my jam and just look what it does to my lips it's just bomb like glossy you guys are missing out if you guys have never tried a fancy lip gloss i'm just saying you need it and then to set our face we are going to use the charlotte tilbury flawless um airbrush setting spray and of course i'm going to use my diva fan to set it if you guys have made it to the end thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video i had so much fun creating today's look even though it's not my favorite i did have fun if you guys haven't already hit that like button don't forget to give your favorite homeboy a like if you have any comments questions or concerns sound off in the comments below and you guys know i will catch you in the next one later friends